Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do Bible scripture reading. Um, we're going to be covering Genesis chapter 29, verses 1 through 35. So, we're going to be studying and looking at and reading. Genesis chapter 29, 1 through 35. Let's get right on into it. We have Jacob arise in Paddan Aram. Then Jacob continued on his journey and came to the land of eastern people. There he saw a whale in the field with three flocks of sheep lying near it because the flocks were watered from that well. The stone over the mouth of the well was large. When all the flocks were gathered there, the shepherds would roll the stone away from the well's mouth and water the sheep. Then they would return the stone to its place over the mouth of the well. Jacob asked the shepherds, my brothers, where are you from? We're from Haran, they replied. He said to them, do you know Laban, Nahor's grandson? Yes, we know him, they answered. Then Jacob asked them, is he well? Yes, he is, they said. And here comes his daughter, Rachel, with the chief. Look, he said, the sun is still high. It is not time for the flocks to be gathered, water the sheep, and take them back to pasture. We can't, they replied until all the flocks are gathered and the stone has been rolled away from the mouth of the well then we will water the sheep while he was still talking with them rachel came with her father with her father's sheep for she was a, sh a shepherdess a shepherd dress a shepherdess when jacob saw rachel daughter of laban his mother's brother and laban's sheep he went over and rolled the stone away from the mouth of the well and watered his uncle's sheep. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and began to weep aloud. He had told Rachel that he was a relative of her father and a son of Rebekah. So she ran and told her father. As soon as Laban heard the news about Jacob, his sister's son, he hurried to meet him. He embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his home. And there Jacob told him all these things. Then Laban said to him, You are my own flesh and blood. Okay. The next subtitle is Jacob marries Leah and Rachel. After Jacob had stayed with him for a whole month, Laban said to him, Just because you are a relative of mine, should you work for me for nothing? Tell me what your wages should be. Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Leah. And the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah had weak eyes, but Rachel was lovely in form and beautiful. Jacob was in love with Rachel and said, I'll work for your I'll work for you seven years in return for your daughter Rachel. Ramon said, It's better that I give her to you than to some other man. Stay here with me. So Jacob served seven years to get Rachel. But they seemed like only a few days to him because of his love for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, give me my wife. My time is completed and I want to lie with her. So Laban brought together all the people of the place and gave her feast. But when evening came, he took his daughter Leah and gave her to Jacob. And Jacob lay with her. And Laban gave his servant girl Zephla to his daughter as her maid servant. When morning came, there was Leah. So Jacob said to Laban, what is this you have done to me? I served you for Rachel, didn't I? Why have you deceived me? Laban replied, it is not our custom here to give the younger daughter in marriage before the older one. Finish this daughter right away. Then we will give you the younger one also in return for another seven years of work. And Jacob did so. He finished the week with Leah. And then Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Laban gave his servant girl Bilahah 
Baha, Bilha, to his daughter Rachel as her maidservant. Jacob lay with Rachel also, and he loved Rachel more than Leah, and he worked for Laban another seven years. Jacob's children. When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Leah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Reuben. For she said, it is because the Lord has seen my misery. Surely my husband will love me now. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, because the Lord heard that I am not loved, he gave me this one too. So she named him Simon. Again, she conceived, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, now at least my husband will become attached to me because I have bore him three sons. So he was named Levi. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, This time I will praise the Lord. So she named him, and she stopped having children. Okay. And that was pretty much the essence of uh, G Genesis 29 between the fight, <coughs> excuse me, between two relatives and the de uh, deception that Jacob felt uh, Laban had done to him. But did he think in chapter 28 of Genesis, the stolen um, inheritance he took from his brother Esau, as well as his uh, inheritance to receive good things blessed from him, from his father and the Lord. See how karma has a way of just, you know, doing things. Then he had to work hard for his relative for 14 years to enjoy two wives. One wife had definitely given him about, what, four children? Uh, it was Reuben, Simon, Levi, and Judah. Four sons. While the one wife he really did love and he really was working for, uh, for the first time of marriage, was... Um, Rebecca, I mean, yeah, was it Rebecca? No, Rachel. And uh, he didn't have any children with her. But as good as our Lord is, he's going to bless her. He's going to give her more uh, than what she can handle as well. Uh, maybe in chapter 30 of Genesis or 31. But we have to wait and see if that is true. But I just wanted to give my uh, edification on understanding the chapter. How, you know, you think you can be deceptive and deceitful on one hand to another. And not even within a year's time, he got somebody to do him exactly what he did to his brother. Now, how does that suit well with him? Calm, I tell you. Don't mess with her. She'll come back and bite you at the least time expected. But um, that's about it. Like I said, for Genesis chapter 29, we'll get and be back tomorrow, God willing, to read more about Jacob's troubles and trials and tribulations and joys and also pain in chapter 30 and going forward. Okay, till we finish Genesis all together. Um, bless you and yours. Uh, may you have peace and prosperity. And tell people about my channel to come over here and get some good reading of the Bible and some understanding of the Bible and how it is promoted into our lives uh, as we go forward, okay? And remember to always don't look back on the past because there's nothing left for you in that uh, direction. Stay current and push forward to the future and always keep the Lord with you. Okay, guys, peace and blessings, and I'll talk to you soon for more Bible study or Bible reading, okay? Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.